Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diacon Dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today we're going to be reacting to a song by the Kinks. It's been a very long time since we've done the Kinks. This song is called the Village Green Preservation Society. It was uh, requested under my recent video asking for requests and that comment got a ton of likes. So here we are. Um, I'm very excited to check this out. Thank you to the people who requested this and who have requested the Kinks. There are a few other like bigger songs of theirs that I think um, have been asked for for a long time, but we'll get to those in uh, in due time. Um, but yeah, this is called the Village Green Preservation Society. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, my name is Daniel, and here we react to music, and I try to figure out what the music and the lyrics mean to me personally. And we just have a great time listening to great music. So here we go. Three, two, one, the kinks. Society, God save the old duck, Bonneville and Variety. We are the desperate then appreciation society. God there we go. save strawberry jam and all the different varieties. Serving the old ways from being abused. Protecting the new ways for me and for you. What more can we do? The draft beer preservation society. God save Mrs. Moss from good old Mother Riley. We are the custom pie appreciation consortium. God save the George Cross and all those who are loving them. Wow, it's super pretty. Total change of pace from something like, uh, uh, you really got me, you know, da -da 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 -da, you know, like that's almost the beginning of like a, a much harder rock, you know, and this, um, uh, it's very different sound from them. I like it. Um, I like bands that have lots of different flavors to offer the world. Anyway, let's continue. We are the Sherlock Holmes, English speaking vernacular. Help save, prevent you, the Moriarty yeah. and Dracula. We are the office block, persecution affinity. God save the little shots, China cups and virginity. We are the skyscraper, condemnation affiliates. God save Tudor houses, anti tables and millions. Serving the old ways from being abused. Protecting the new ways for me and for you. What more can we do? We are the village green preservation society. God save Donald Duck, Porterville and Variety. We are the desperate damn. Jesus Christ. Uh, the Kinks, the Village Green Preservation Society. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was a good song. Uh, let's see what some of the comments are. Uh, this is the oh, this is on their official YouTube page, and they're allowing comments. That's so cool. Very seldom do the official pages have. 
comments allowed under like official audio. Sometimes they do under music videos, but not under. Yeah. All right. On um, this, is the opening track on the 1968 album, The Kinks Are the Village Green Preservation Society, written by Ray Davies and recorded at Pi Studios between February of 76 and October of 78. Wow. It's a long time. Um, we must, <laughs> the top comment is, we must deal with those who decide to thumbs this video down for the greater good. Ray unapologetically restoring a slice of Britannia lost on so many at the time. When Stowe's were singing about sympathy and Beatles singing about revolution, Ray gifted you village green. It's criminal how the kinks didn't achieve the success of the Stones or the Who, equally as good if not better in terms of songwriting. Ray was a genius, totally cutting edge, effing brilliant. This album as a whole was a masterpiece. I never understood this album and all the praise it got, but one day something just clicked in my head and I realized Ray really was the best. That's the thing with the kinks. It takes a second listen to realize the true greatness of their writing. I will also say, oh, they said kinks over the Beatles, and I think as time goes on, most people, more and more people will realize that. Wow, those are strong words. The kinks really packed a lot into a three-minute pop song. All right, let's take a look at the... Um, this is an iconic Kink song. It did not sell well on its release as a single. We are the Village Green Preservation Society. God save Donald Duck, Vaudeville, and Variety. We are the Desperate Dan. Appreciate... Oh, Desperate Dan. It's me. Appreciation Society. God save Strawberry Jam and all the different varieties. Preserving the old ways from being abused. Protecting the new ways for me and for you. What more can we do? Hmm. The Village Green evokes memories of pre-urban Britain. The entire song is nostalgia-fueled tribute to a bygone era in British history, quite alien in the midst of the staunchly anti-traditionalist hippie movement. Uh, you sure this isn't sarcastic, though? God save Donald Duck vaudeville and variety? I mean, you know. Hmm. God save strawberry jam and all the different varieties. Who knows? Play on the anthem used in a number of British Commonwealth realms, God Save the Queen. It serves as the de facto British anthem, and a variety of territories take it up as their own. Donald Duck had his debut in 1934, over 30 years before the song was released. His name quickly became used as Cockney rhyming slang, either for luck or a ruder word. In this context, only luck makes sense. Okay. Variety theaters were once found in almost every town in Britain. Some, like Hoxton Hall, survive. They were the principal form of entertainment before television. They mostly show musical acts and stand-up, but also things like juggling, magic, and ventriloquism. Vaudeville, somewhat ironically, is more of a French tradition. It's a form of poetry which became adapted to comic musical theater. Desperate Dan, a character from the UK comic The Dandy, made his debut in 1937 and is one of Britain's most famous comic book characters. Strawberry Jam is quintessentially British. Um, Blighton characters can't go anywhere without some. The King's spiritual successors when it comes to song about British life were The Jam. To understand this, you must understand what a village green preservation society is. A village green is an open area within a common open area within a settlement. Some have a pond, often originally for watering stocks, such as cattle. Due to the British agricultural revolution and urbanization, village greens were lost over the past few centuries. Often, small preservation societies would come about and try to protect the greens. The kinks refer not only to the literal village greens, but metaphorical village greens, the culture of the people of Britain, which is slowly being lost and is skewed for newer ways, which may be great, but uncomfortable for those who wish to cling to what worked in the past. It evokes a sense of nostalgia, but adds to the song a solemn tone in which it is applied that old ways brought that brought so much joy are against forces bigger than them. Um, some, mu crit some music critics say that the song's uh, solemn sentiment is undercut by its jaunty sing-along arrangement. Some of the lyrics also raise questions to how serious about how seriously to take the song's traditionalism. Is it really traditional? Traditional in the same way Village Greens are? Donald Duck isn't even English. It might be rhyming, but its meaning is probably rude in a manner hard to square with little china cups and impossible to square with virginity. And does anyone really think the kinks wanted to preserve virginity? Lots of critics think that line is playfully excessive. 
Ray Davies, Davies, who wrote the lyrics for the entire album, spent part of uh, 68 writing satirical numbers for late night comedy program on the BBC. And it's possible that some of that ironic sensibility has spilled over onto this track. I feel like most of the track is ironic. The whole sound of it. But maybe that's just because I'm used to the kinks sounding different than this. We are the Drought Beer Preservation Society. God save Mrs. Mop and good old Mother Ridley. We are the Custard Pie Appreciation Consortium. God save the George Cross and all those who were awarded them. In 1960, British beers were becoming mass-produced. Uh, pressurized beers were rapidly overtaking drought beers, which are served directly from a keg or cask. Um, in 1971, three years after the song's release, a real-life counterpart to the Drought Beer Preservation Society was, crea was created, the Campaign for Real Ale, which seeks to preserve traditional brewing methods. Today, Camera is the, that's literally just called Camera, is the largest single issue consumer group in the United Kingdom, boasting over 175,000 members. Damn. Who's Mrs. Mop? Portrayed by actress Dorothy Summers, it was a character from It's That Man Again, a BBC radio comedy that ran from 39 to 49. Her famous catchphrase was ta ta for now. Hmm. Interesting. Old Mother Riley was a comic was a comedy music hall, which ran from thirty four to fifty four. It starred Arthur Lucan, who performed in drag and old age makeup to portray the titular character, an elderly Irish woman. Custard pie is a traditional British dish. This could be a reference to the traditional British comedy gag of hitting someone in the face with a custard pie. The George Cross is the second most awarded senior decoration. Is, sorry, is the second most senior decoration awarded by the British sovereign behind its counterpart, the Victoria Cross. Both are for acts of bravery in the face of extreme danger. The only difference is that serving military personnel are eligible for the um, VC, while civilians are eligible for the GC. Hmm. The George Cross was awarded to a large number of people during the Blitz. We are the Sherlock Holmes in English-speaking vernacular. Help save Fu Manchu... Moriarty and Dracula. We are office block persecution affinity. God save little shops, china cups, and virginity. We are the skyscraper condemnation affiliate. God save two-door houses, antique tables, and billiards. One of the most famous characters in literary history, the fictional detective Sherlock Holmes was created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle in 87. The final home story appeared in uh, sorry, 1887, not 87. <laughs> the final home story appeared in 1927, three years before Doyle's death. That's sad. Love Sherlock Holmes. Um, vernacular is common language spoken by common people, continuing the song's theme of extolling the virtues of the British countryside and its culture. All right. Uh, Fu Man... Manchu. Dr. Fu Manchu was a fictional criminal mastermind appearing in the works of British author Sax Roch Rochmer. He appeared in 1913's The Mystery of Dr. Fu Manchu and went on to appear in 14 other novels. Um, by the mid-20th century, he'd become controversial, and critics considered his character a racist character. Oh, okay. That's messed up. Um... Moriarty is a villain appearing in two of the Sherlock Holmes stories, James Moriarty. Described by Holmes as the Napoleon of crime, Moriarty exceeds, succeeds in killing Holmes in the story The Final Problem. Yes, he does. <laughs> Count Dracula is a legendary vampire created by Bram Stoker. Yeah, um, one of the most famous characters in the British literary history. All these characters are symbolic of popular traditional British literature. What an interesting song. So many references. The cubicle represents the sort of modernized conformity the VGPS despises, but the office is now an English cultural institution. Um, an office block is the building, not the cubicle. Um, this line could also be a partner to the skyscraper condemnation affiliate, essentially a protest against the urbanization of rural England. All things which bring up nostalgia. Little shops, small family-owned businesses being killed by multinationals. China cups, brittle, ornately designed cups being replaced by mass-produced cups of lesser quality. Virginity. Girls and boys unwilling to have sex before marriage, often in their uh, late teens to early years of adulthood. 
Skyscrapers are symbolic of everything which the song is railing against. Urbanization, Americanization, and corporation. I wouldn't call um, urbanization Americanization. Would we? What is that? Would we call it that? I don't know. Anyway, continuing. Um, Two-door houses. Two-door architecture is a distinctly British style which evokes memories of the distant past. More celebration of the past, Victorian era tables were extremely intricate in stark contrast to the generic glass tables of modern, modern, modernity. Billiards is a traditional British sport with origins tracing back to at least the 18th century. It became extremely popular in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, so much so that highly skilled players became major celebrities. John Roberts Jr.'s prowess earned him meetings with British royalty. Hmm. And then a repeat. And a repeat. And that's that. The Village Green Preservation Society by the Kinks. Um, my personal interpretation is that the song is a little bit tongue-in-cheek. Um, maybe not entirely, but at least on some level it is. Uh, but that's just me. I don't know. And um, yeah, wow. I learned a lot in the last uh, 15 minutes. So thanks to the Kinks and thank you to the people who um, requested this song for me to check out. Uh, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Deathstroke9 out. Thanks for spending some time with me. Stay tuned for more videos.